Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ludovica Colelli, and I am the Junior Events Coordinator and in-house translator of ISC. Today, I'm here with Dr. Greenberg, who is going to teach two webinars on May 5th, 2023, titled Unblocking Blocked Emotions, and on June 1st, titled Working with Shame and Anger. Dr. Greenberg, thank you so much for your time and for being with us today to allow this interview. My pleasure. Since it is not the first time ISC invites you to hold webinars, I would like to refresh a bit our listeners' memory about your background. Dr. Greenberg is a distinguished researcher, professor emeritus of psychology at York University in Toronto, who has authored the major uh, text on emotional focus therapy, such as emotion focus therapy of forgiveness and letting go in 2019. Thanks to ISC, he had the chance to teach two webinars titled The Transforming Power of Emotion and Emotion Focused Approach and Resolving Emotions in uh, Emotional Injuries, Letting Go and Forgiveness. And to provide important insights about dialogues between different parts of self in working with parsing therapy, different approach to develop healthy relationships with self parse webinar. And speaking about webinars, the aim of this interview is in fact to better introduce the ones he is going to teach in May and June. So, Dr. Greenberg, let's start from the first of the two webinars. It will be on May 5th, and it is titled Unblocking Blocked Emotions. Please tell us about it, how the web webinar will be structured, and also the clinical skills that therapists will acquire. Well, it will be structured as a set of, I mean, I will lecture and show videotapes, videotapes of actual processes of uh, real clients demonstrating what I'm talking about. So the phenomena of blocking emotions is uh, universal in therapy, regardless of the approach. Now I've developed emotion-focused therapy, so we focus specifically on working on different kinds of emotional problems. And um, in this webinar, I'll, I'll focus on the experience of blocking what is it that leads people to block, which is basically from studies we've shown it's a fear of dangerous emotions, the fear that you will be overwhelmed or lose control or drown or fall apart. So it's not a fear of the pain of the emotion. It's a fear of the disintegration of yourself that is uh, what's at issue. And then we will look at how do you work with helping people unblock or overcome this fear. And in that process, we use a, a two-chair dialogue for blocking or self-interruption of emotion, in which we try to turn, help people experience to turn um, what happens to them into something they're doing. So rather than I just, my emotions are blocked, it's like, how do you block your emotions? So we work in a two-chair dialogue of asking you to uh, sit in one chair and actually become the blocker, the avoider, the defender. And we really refer to all of this as the protection because you're protecting yourself from falling apart. So these are the kinds of things we're going to discuss and also demonstrate on the videos. Thank you. Which are the skills that a therapist will learn by um, participating to your workshop, to your webinar? Sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah. So which are the, what are the skills, the main skills that therapists will learn? Well, I mean, firstly, they'll learn to it's more of an understanding, understanding what blocking is about. Okay. Um, and then the specific skills that are learned is the skill of two chair dialogue for self interruption. Um, so we call this a two chair enactment. And they'll learn the moment by moment skills of working with the blocking of emotion and, and how to help people unblock 
the, the blocks. Okay, thank you so much. I think that all participants will find it very interesting. Now I would like to focus on the second event, which is on June 1st, and it is titled Working with Shame and Anger. Also in this case, I'm asking you to give us more information about the topic, the structure of the webinar, and the clinical skills that can be acquired. Well, again, the structure will be a set of lectures, and then the the lectures will discuss something about the nature of shame and anger in psychotherapy. So there's an interesting thing because they they are related to each other, right? Uh, because when people have underlying shame, they often don't deal with their shame. They show anger. They get angry. Uh, so we're going to talk about the relationship between shame and anger. And often if people block their anger because they're ashamed, that if they get angry, they look like they're out of control. So um, it's not just that there's a single way of working with shame and a single way of working with anger. But I will show videotapes and lecture and I'll show an ongoing uh, set of two sessions in which a client comes in with shame and we see how uh, anger also helps overcome shame. Because when people feel very ashamed, they feel worthless and undeserving. And to help them get to a feeling of I'm angry that I was mistreated when I was a child or previously in my life, and they're able to get angry. The anger undoes the shame. So we have these complex relationships between shame and anger. Um, the What people will learn, firstly, is to discriminate between different kinds of shame and different kinds of anger. And the emphasis will be on what I call arrested anger. So there's a lot of work in uh, the field in general on regulating anger, which means controlling or managing it. I'm going to talk about the importance of helping people access previously unacknowledged anger arrested anger, anger that's been blocked or interrupted. Um, so the skills they will learn here is both learning how to access shame and also how to help overcome shame um, and then also how to access previously blocked anger in order to strengthen the personality. Very well. Thank you so much again. I believe that your webinars will be very inspirational for clinicians who will attend your webinars. To conclude our interview, I would like to remind our listeners that your webinars will be on live stream on Zoom. So if you are interested in learning more directly from Dr. Greenberg, visit our website and sign up for, this, uh, for his webinars as soon as possible. Once again, thank you so much, Dr. Greenberg, for your time and your interesting insights about your webinars. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening to this interview, and I hope that you will join us for Dr. Greenberg's webinars on May 5th and June 1st. Thank you.